I will ask in Italian, so I think because two Italians speaking in English, they don't <laughs> relate well. Eh, volevo chiederti, perché prima dicevate che è proprio sulla grande bellezza proprio degli esseri umani e dei luoghi, però è come se mancasse lo sporco. Cioè a Roma c'è tanto traffico, tanto caos e tanto sporco che in questo film magari non si vede, anche nelle persone, cioè il fatto che siano così perfettamente curate e anche nel modo di fare il film, che è così perfetto. Eh, io paradossalmente quando ho visto il film la prima volta ho sentito che era una bellezza quasi nauseabonda. Per cui volevo sapere, cioè, visto che tu dici che veramente è sulla bellezza, se invece cioè, mh, il fatto che è eh, come il caramello, come lo zucchero che dopo, tante cioè, dopo tanto che ne mangi ti, ti nausea un po', se la direzione registica e la scelta proprio delle immagini andasse a favore del contenuto, che forse non è proprio la bellezza. It's hard. I mean, no, uh, is the answer yes? <laughs> It would be great if the no, answer is yes. What she asks is that basically it's why uh, Paolo has chosen to, um, to represent the life of Rome, basically a, a very old and ancient town and, and dirt, where the dirt is it's, uh, it's part of the city and why he, he, he cut off that kind of dirt. If no, I, I didn't mean just, I'm sorry, I didn't mean just uh, Rome, but like also the decadence of the people, like of that humanity. And I said that when I went out the, the movie, I was not feeling so well because that beauty was for me too much. It was like all these people so fake, I felt it was artificial. And I was asking if also the images that are so perfect and so kind of artificial because they don't represent reality as it is, if he sees that this is real beauty or if he's in a way corrupted. Um, I, I don't like to do films of the nouns. I, I like to do films where I try to have a comprehension of the human being. And for this reason, for me, it's too simple to... Um, to tell about the chaos of the city. Everybody knows. I, I, I prefer the chaos of the mind of the human being. It's the first part of your question that you did in Italian at the beginning when you, when you said, why don't you put the, in the, the, on, the, on the stage? Or do you see the dirt it? on the stage. Yeah. Uh, and um, about the perfection of the people, I don't see the perfection of, of those people and uh, I don't see the perfection and um, I, I understand what you say about uh, how I do the images that the, where everything is beauty is, is, is beautiful and uh, uh, because I like that kind of cinema as a spectator I hate the realistic too realistic movies I, I don't like as a spectator um, many many movies of today without music, where everything must be completely naturalistic. We are in the house of uh, Emil Kusturica, and when I saw the um, time, times time of, of the, the gypsies, of the gypsies I, I understood what, what, what was a beautiful image without being uh, fake, because that, that movie was uh, real and it was uh, unbelievable from a, a, the point of view of the images. I tried to do the same same thing and then um, uh, the the way to be real for me is not to be real i am uh, it's it's hard to say in english but uh, the fake is the way for me to become real uh, all the times that i see something of real in the life and then i go to shoot that stuff i do something of fake and all the times that i think something of fake and I put in the movie, the people say me, yeah, that's, that's real. So the, the ways to, to get the reality are more complicated uh, than you say. Well, in another movie that I did, uh, uh, that was called Il Divo, it's, 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 a it's a good example of this. It was a movie about a real person, a real uh, pol politician. Politician. Yeah. yeah. And there was... Uh, the, the biography of this guy was the, the pa political life and the public life was very known. Everybody uh, knew his life because he was very famous. Giulio Andreotti. Giulio Andreotti. The private life was completely unknown to, to the people. So what did I do? I shoot 
the real things about the public life, and I invented the completely the private life because I didn't know anything about uh, his private life. Well, he went to see the movie, he saw the movie, and when the movie was finished, he said, he, uh, the director has completely invented my public life, but he knows very well everything, I don't know how, <laughs> about me, about my private life. <laughs> so um, it's not so easy to arrive to the, to the things of the reality. There are some directors that uh, they say this bottle and they do this because they are seated uh, here. Uh, other directors uh, do, they go around the table and they think for 10 minutes before uh, shooting the bottle, the bottle. It's a, it's a, a question of, uh, of taste. Of course. Yeah.